A private sector company has been awarded a contract to manufacture a full-scale model of AMCA for stealth measurements. This milestone marks a crucial phase in the program's progress, as the final configuration for the AMCA has been frozen. The AMCA team is now embarking on full-scale engineering development plans for the aircraft, that signifies a pivotal moment in the program's timeline as it moves from design and planning to the actualization of a fifth-generation aircraft for the Indian Air Force. The AMCA program is expected to receive clearance from the Cabinet Committee on Security in the next two months. However, activities related to the manufacturing of the first prototype is already in motion. The Indian Air Force chief has officially announced plans to buy 100 more Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets which means that the Air Force will operate 40 Tejas Mark 1 and 183 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft powered by the American F-404 engines, for which the Air Force will place orders for 120 more F-404 engines. The Air Force is considering the establishment of a base repair depot to oversee the overhaul and maintenance of these F-404 engines, rather than emphasizing technology transfer for the F-404. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said that the work on the Brahmos missile manufacturing site in Lucknow will be completed by February 2024. The 200-acre facility will manufacture Brahmos NG missiles at 80 to 100 missiles per year and will cater to both domestic as well as export orders. Several countries have expressed interest in the Brahmos NG, including Brazil, Greece, Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. TSC Technologies Private Limited has unveiled a portable radar cross-section measuring device that can be deployed independently as well as from ships and UAVs. Understanding the radar cross-section of a ship is essential for various operational considerations, including the deployment of countermeasures such as chaff rockets. The accuracy of RCS measurements directly impacts the success of soft kill measures against anti-missile defenses. Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited has successfully concluded a 45 crore rupees contract with the RDO for the manufacturing and supply of two infantry combat command vehicles. After the successful execution of this initial contract, the Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited will receive a significant order for 177 command vehicles worth 4,000 crore rupees, which is tailored for operational control of motorized rifle battalion subunits and the conduct of combat operations. Oh,